Rare audition footage that won famous actors their breakthrough roles. 2004 was a good year for Rachel McAdams. In addition to starring as Regina George in Mean Girls, she snagged the lead role of Allie Hamilton in The Notebook, which skyrocketed her to fame. Here is her audition, a particularly dramatic scene from the film. Though he started his career as a stand-up comic, Freaks and Geeks was Rogan's first acting gig. Unfortunately, the show only ran for one season. Miley was actually auditioning for the best friend role, but managed to impress the producers enough that they offered her the lead. Even stars as big as RDJ have to audition for roles, but let's face it, who else could have pulled off a character like Tony Stark? Natalie Portman made her feature film debut in Leon the Professional when she was only 12 years old. She played a young girl who befriends a hitman after her family is murdered. Hugh Laurie had been acting since the early 80s, but didn't become a household name in America until he became Dr. Gregory House in 2004. Here is one of his early auditions for the role. Some pretty big names auditioned for the US version of The Office, including Seth Rogen, Bob Odenkirk, and Adam Scott. Here's a look at those who did and did not end up making the cut. Dazed and Confused was McConaughey's first feature film, and it's clear to see he totally nailed the audition. After getting cast as Boy Crazy Bridget in The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, Blake landed the whale in 2007, grabbing the starring role of Serena Vanderwoodson on the hit TV show Gossip Girl. Here's the audition that got her the part. When the original casting for Elliot didn't work out, casting director Marcy Kiroff brought the nine-year-old Henry Thomas to read for the part. Steven Spielberg was so blown away by the performance that he gave Thomas the job right then and there.